Hey, it's Teresa with High Mesa Standards, and today is off day. And Tulum is our red collar male, and he is our quietest, calmest, um, most not into this. So, he's a good boy. So, this is his first off training, other than what we've done at um in the kennel and he's inside the house now so he's going to be a little bit shyer but um it's imperative that i do off training without the other puppies around right now because i just want to see how he's doing personally and um get his whole attention um he is a little nervous about the robot vacuum so i may have to send that home but maybe it's going to a different room so I don't, I haven't been really paying attention to where it's supposed to be going right now, so it's taken off. I think my robot vacuum needs to be vacuumed. It's really dirty. Anyways, um, who's got time for that? Nobody's got time for that right now. We're doing puppies. So anyways, we're going to work with uh, Tulum today, or at least for now, for the next 10 minutes. Um, today's snack tree training Treats is brought to you by chicken. And all I did was just um, chop up a bunch of chicken that I had in the fridge that was needing to get eaten. So I ate a piece and now the puppy's gonna eat the rest of it. Right? So we're gonna start with getting on. I don't know if he will because he's just not that personality. Sometimes he jumps up on me. Come on, up, 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 on. On. Yes. Come. Come on. Yes. Good boy. Good job. Good boy. Let's go off. Off. I'm gonna let him think about it a minute. Off. Yes. Good job. Okay, I gotta get my chicken over here. Good boy, because he just ate that whole piece without. Oh boy, he. Okay, so we found out that Tulum likes chicken. <laughs> Oh, on? Can you get on? Yes, good boy. Can you get off? Okay, we're gonna put my hand down here. Let him follow. Off. Yes, good boy. Good job. Can you get on? On. Up. Yes, good boy. Good boy. Can you get off? I'm not gonna lure. I'm gonna watch and see if he can get off. Let me put you at a place where you can see what's going on. Sorry about that. Okay. Let's try that again. Come on, on. Yes, oh, good boy. Good job. Okay, off. Yes, good boy. Okay, so I know that he is already understanding on and off just by the way he's looking and acting. So let me get down here. On, on, yes. So it seems to me like he's very smart. He's just not very interested in doing things that the other dogs are doing. Off, off, yes, good boy. He's super smart. So um, he passes the understanding of the word on. Yes, good boy, see how fast he works? When it's something he likes, we're finding that he is really good at that. Off, off. Yes, good boy. Okay, so notice when I am, here, you get an off treat. Yes, good boy. So when I want him to get off, children especially will do this. And so I want to do that with the off sign, off, off. That way, if a child does that to him, he will automatically jump off. That's the plan anyways. So up, yes, good boy. So up, I'm putting my, hand on my chest and off, off. Yes, good boy, good job. That is a good boy. Okay, so we're gonna take his mind off of that for a minute, do some luring. I'm gonna lure him away, let's lure, come on. Let's go, yes, follow, yes, good boy. Can you sit? He's super smart, sit, yes, uh, uh, off. Yes, good boy. Good job. Good boy. Good boy, come. Come, come, come. Yes, good boy. 
Come on, lure, lure, come on. Here we go, this way. Yes, sit, uh -uh, sit. Yes, good boy. Now he's thinking I might be doing the on and off game. So we wanna like not let him, oh, what a good boy. He's getting close to me and sitting, sit, good boy. Good boy. So we don't want him to anticipate that he's gonna do the same thing that we've been doing every single time. Let's go. I want him to listen to my words and watch my body language. Yes, sit. Yes, good boy, good boy. Okay, and we're gonna do, now we haven't done that, we have not done this often on training. It, he's just heard what I've used, the same words that I've used while he's been on me, and I've set off and pushed him off, or you know that kind of thing. So he's, this is just learning from listening to me talking to him. So, hey, and reacting to it too. Some, come over here, up, 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 come on, come on, this way. Good boy, good boy. Can you sit? Yes, good boy. He knows that, he's got a good awareness. Up, 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 look, come on, up, 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 come on. Up here, come on, up, up, up. He's like, I think it's sit. Yes, good boy. Off, yes, good boy. Good job, good boy. Okay, so if they're really, really, really um, treat crazy and they just follow your hand wherever you go, when you say off, you can actually throw the treat away from your body and they'll get the same idea. So since he's getting this really well up, Good boy. I knew he was gonna go up, so we're using that up. Good boy. Uh -uh. Up. Yes, good boy. Off, off. Yes, good boy. Okay, so he has a good understanding of that. I'm gonna use the word place, and I'm gonna bring him over to this bed right here. So I might turn you just a little bit. Here we go. Place, place. He doesn't understand this because he's never heard this word. And we don't usually do this, but he's really smart, so we're gonna try. Come on, here, place. Come on, pop, 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 pop. Here, look, place, come on. Uh, all the way on. Well, we don't wanna give him the treat until he's all the way on his place, otherwise he'll just go and tag it and then leave. So we want him on the, yes, good boy. Good boy, good job. Now we're gonna use the word off and point, off. Yes, good job, good boy. Okay, so we're gonna give him a little treat. He really likes this chicken, that's some good stuff. Okay, and I don't give him chicken every time because um, poodles a lot of times are allergic to chicken, so we don't wanna take that chance and have him all broken out and itchy when he goes to his home, you know, and that would not be fun for him. Okay, so let's go place, place. Yes, good boy. He's really smart. Off. Tell him. He doesn't like the clapping. He's like, you don't need to clap with me. Off. Come on. Pay attention. Off. Yes, good boy. So he's going to be ultra sensitive. Um, you're not going to have to yell at him much because he'll do whatever it is that you want him to do. He just doesn't need to be yelled at. He, he's a lot like his mom in that way. She does not like being scolded. Or yelled at. I didn't say up, off, off. Yes, good girl, good boy, good girl, good boy. <laughs> oh, I have problems. Okay, so place, place. Yes, good job, good boy. Off, off. Yes, good boy. Oh my goodness, is he learning fast? Can you go place, place? All the way. Come on, here, good boy, come on. Yes, good boy. Off, oops, didn't get him all the way up. Off, come on, off. Yes, good job. This is smart, this is smart, Jalum. Yes, he's a good boy. So um, I, he really does love praise too. Um, I'm finding what his personality is like when I am alone with him and that's what I needed to know. Um, He's willing, he's just very um, low key and low energy and he does not like excitability. 
He'd just much rather be like this. So it, as far as him being a sporty dog or anything like that, kind of doubt it. Um, although sometimes they can surprise me, but um, he is definitely willing and he likes to learn. So um, we will close that out because he's doing really good with that. He understands those words, so that is what I'm interested in. I want him to be at the beginning of understanding so that when the puppy owners get him home, they can work further with him and he is understands at least. He's got an understanding. He just wants his face in my hand. He's going to love me. Are you loving me? He's such a good boy to loom. He's our biggest boy. So he's heaviest and tallest. Um, so he may end up having a good service-minded attitude, um, but he has to get, he's pushing me. He's doing the push, poodle push. Now he's trying to tell me right now, he is interested in more of the chicken training, okay? So he will take his nose and push against me and say either, he's saying one of two things, no more, which is not his body language, or more. So that is one thing about poodles. I call it the poodle push. They get their nose on you and then they push you a little to try and tell you or to persuade you that they're trying to tell you with their mind, right? <laughs> they don't understand. You wanna do another up? Okay, let's do one more. But then everybody else gets a chance up to Loom. Okay, he's looking at a piece of chicken on the floor. Come here, to Loom. Hey, look at me. Up, oh, good boy, good job. We probably need to do more face rest recognition. Up. Up, good boy, yes. Off, yes, good boy. So he definitely knows the words. Up, up, he just doesn't always look at me. Up, yes, come on. Tulum. Mm -hmm. He's like, wait a minute, there's a piece of chicken under your knee. Come here, hey, Tulum, Tulum, hey. <laughs> okay, we should have stopped when we could. Okay, look at me. And if that happens with you, where you think they want to keep working and then maybe not, they change their mind, that's okay, change your mind. But just end on a good note. So we're gonna say, look at me. Yes, good boy, good job. And then we're gonna praise him and we'll be ending with that. He really is liking this though, so I'm happy with that. And you can end it with a play session like um, using a rattle toy or squeaky toy and play with him for a few minutes. And then, then he um, understands that playtime is after he works and he will like that even all the more. So there is Tulum, our red collar male, doing his on and off game. Good job, buddy.